Hey guys, it's Kara here, and I'm here to bring you a great recipe today for a little something sweet for those chocolate lovers out there. I'm gonna make for you today a protein chocolate cupcake. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you're gonna need several ingredients. So for dry ingredients, what you're gonna need is some type of chocolate protein. Today I'm gonna use my MTS uh, chocolate protein here. You're gonna need some cocoa, just unsweetened baking cocoa. For flour, you can use any kind of flour. If you have wheat flour, oat flour. Um, if you don't, you can take whole oats, grind them in a blender. Real easy, lots of alternatives. I happen to just have this Pamela's um, baking mix. It's a gluten-free mix um, laying around. So this is what I'm gonna use today. But again, you can use whatever kind of flour you have laying around. It'll work just as good. Okay, you're gonna need some baking powder, some type of sweetener. I'm gonna use stevia. For your wet ingredients, you're gonna need three eggs, some pure pumpkin I'm gonna use. If you don't have pumpkin, you could substitute applesauce. I'm gonna use some 0% Faget Greek yogurt. And we're gonna also use some almond milk or your milk of choice. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is have two separate bowls. I'm gonna mix my wet ingredients and dry ingredients separately. So first thing I'm gonna do is start out with the, the dry ingredients. And I'm gonna do two scoops of my MTS whey or whatever protein you're using. You guys know you can click my link in my description box to go to Tiger Fitness if you wanna buy your MTS products there. They just came out with cookies and cream, so you guys should check that out. All right, so two scoops of that. For your flour, you're gonna wanna do one and one quarter cup of flour. You can see I've got real, real classy measuring cups up in here. Doesn't matter, use what works, you guys. And I'm not one for measuring things exactly to a T, so I'm not really measuring it how they would teach you in like home and careers back in high school. Um, I'm just kind of scooping it in. Not an exact science. It's gonna taste good either way. I'm using a half cup here. So that's why I'm scooping a couple times. Okay, so there's one and one quarter cup. I'm gonna get a little, a little bit messy with this recipe here. Okay, now I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of your baking powder. Crucial that you add in baking powder. This is what makes your, your muffin, your cupcake rise. So if you leave this out, you're gonna have a very flat product. Okay, half a teaspoon of that. Next, we're gonna add three tablespoons of your cocoa. I always have cocoa on hand. It's good to add to tons of different recipes. You could add it to protein shakes, you could add it to oatmeal, you could add it to Greek yogurt for something sweet. This is a definite staple. And I'm gonna add a half a cup of my stevia, or whatever sweetener you guys use. Okay. Just gonna stir this up real quick. These are all our dry ingredients. Oh, so you guys are also going to want to have a cupcake pan, or you could do um, little mini cupcakes if you have like a little mini muffin type pan, whatever you want. But this yields about 12 cupcakes. All right, so it's all nice and mixed up. Now we're going to do our wet ingredients in a separate bowl. I'm going to do my eggs first. If by chance I drop some of the eggshell in the bowl, I can pick it out. So it's a little bit easier if you're doing eggs, you wanna maybe do those first. We're just doing egg whites here, no yolk. And I just go back and forth like that till I get all of that egg white. I don't understand why people spend so much money on buying the liquid egg whites. They're so much more expensive. Yeah, this takes a minute to actually crack to get your, your egg white, but so much cheaper. It's one of the few things I actually don't do convenience, I guess. Okay. 
And of course, since I added it first, I didn't get any of the shell in there. That easy. All right, so we've got three egg whites in there. Next, I'm going to add, I used the unsweetened almond milk, vanilla flavor. Actually, no, it's not vanilla. It's original flavored. Wegmans brand, super delicious. If you guys have a Wegmans, try it. One half cup of that. Gonna measure out one half cup of my Greek yogurt. Doesn't matter what brand of Greek yogurt you like or buy. The Greek yogurt versus plain yogurt though, because it's a little bit thicker, so it will change your, your end product if you're not using a Greek yogurt. All right. okay. Next thing I'm gonna add is my pumpkin. I actually already had opened up a can of pumpkin, so that's what I've got in my little Tupperware here, just pure pumpkin. And I'm going to add a half a cup of that. Yes, it's all mixing in together. No big deal. Nothing fancy up in my kitchen here. All right. What do we got left? I think we just have vanilla, which I don't know if I mentioned that at the, be the beginning. You want to add a little bit of vanilla, too. Just a half teaspoon of vanilla is all you need. your wet ingredients in there and go ahead and mix these up doesn't look like anything that special yet but what I like about this recipe and hopefully you guys find this too these are all just staple ingredients for me that I have laying around my house so you know these should be a real quick and simple recipe for you guys I like it when I can just make stuff at home and I don't have to run out to the grocery store to get anything. Okay, that's all mixed up. Now we're just going to go ahead and add this to the wet ingredients. Don't need a blender or anything fancy, a spoon, fork, whatever you want. We're just going to mix this all up. Just want to make sure I get all that good stuff out. Okay, got a funky orange color from the pumpkin, but... And you're just going to go ahead and mix this all up. Nice thick product all mixed in together. Now what you're going to do is take your cupcake pan and I'm just going to uh, spray these real quick so it doesn't stick with some pan spray. Then what you're going to want to do is fill each cupcake liner up about two-thirds of the way. Usually what I do is I put a scoop in each of them and then go back through and kind of make sure they're they're all even. You want them all even that way they they cook at the same time you guys. So I'm gonna finish lining my cupcakes here. I'm gonna get them in the oven and I will see you guys when they are all set. All right, so my cupcakes came out of the oven. They took for me about 18 minutes, but watch them between about 15 to 20 minutes, I would say. You just wanna make sure they're cooked all the way through. Easy way to do that is just take a toothpick, insert it in the middle. If it comes out clean, it's all good to go. So about 18 minutes for me. Um, and what I wanted to show you are some different options for frosting because a cupcake isn't a cupcake without some frosting on it, right? Otherwise, it's just a muffin. So what I've done here is simply added um, to a bowl a tablespoon of that 0% Greek yogurt that I used and about a tablespoon of peanut butter and just mix those two together to create a peanut butter frosting. And then I added a little sprinkles on top. But depending on your macros, um, if you guys have used PB2 before, that's a great thing to mix with the Greek yogurt and that will cut down on the fat significantly. So depending on your macro needs, that's one option. Another option here too, um, I don't know if you guys like Cool Whip. I love Cool Whip. Um, I could eat it with a spoon. I do eat it with a spoon. Um, you could do some fat-free Cool Whip. You could just frost it with that. 
Or another option with the fat-free Cool Whip is you could get some cheesecake flavored sugar-free fat-free jello mix. You could add a tablespoon of that to about a tablespoon of Cool Whip, mix it up till it's nice and sweet, and you could frost your cupcakes with that as well. Um, all different kinds of options for frosting out there. Here's just a couple that I liked. Um, see how cute those turned out. They're very soft and moist, cupcake-like. So you get 12 beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Um, good nutritionals on them. We'll give you the nutritionals for both unfrosted and frosted. That way you guys can kind of get an idea how you want to frost yours. So very easy way to do a chocolate high protein cupcake with staple ingredients you should have laying around in your kitchen. And it's delicious and cute and it matches my shirt. So I hope you guys like this recipe. Try it out. Um, don't forget to click my link for Tiger Fitness if you want to go buy some of that MTS protein. And thank you for subscribing. Keep checking back, guys.